you guys are playing probably one of the most famous couples in, in pop culture. Uh, the difference is instead of being shot, well, except for Tommy, you guys are mainly being shot at <laughs> in, in a different sense. So what, is, what does that responsibility mean to both of you as far as getting to know these characters a little bit more intimately than just in a dark alley? I think because we, what most people know of, about them is their death. I don't think we felt a huge weight to represent them in any specific way because actually not that much is known or seen or depicted of them when they were young and living and mm -hmm. falling in love and fighting wars. And I think that from my perspective, I just feel a responsibility to depict Martha as a person and not as some like archetype as a mother, because that's not a real person. She's also not a mother yet. And uh, I think that Bruno like writes them very viscerally and very honestly and kind of chaotically in a lot of ways. And um, there's just no sense of them kind of being this like hollow version of like Batman's mother and father. They're just real people on the page and that's what we get to play. Now Ben, same, same question. Well, I completely agree with everything Anna said. <laughs> <laughs> She nailed it. Um, yeah, I think we're lucky in that I don't think there's a huge amount of, thankfully, thank God, there isn't a huge amount of pressure on our shoulders to kind of live up to an expectation of who they are. Because, you know, when, when we're meeting them in Pennyworth, nothing's known about them in the comic books. As them as young people, like Emma said, them falling in love, their kind of political ideas, anything like that. So that's, that's already down to Bruno's invention. It's exciting to be part of that process of invent inventing and fleshing out these characters and also I think you know the show is a real chance to see I mean I always feel Martha and Thomas are kind of squeaky clean in in the comic books you know they're they're such morally upstanding kind of very calm kind of archetypes and that doesn't quite make sense for me how they those two characters then produce Bruce who is you know our most human flawed comic book character that we have in any of the any comic book law um, he's extremely complicated and I think Pennyworth really brilliantly gives you the parents of that character and with all of their complications and I think you can more clearly see how we end up with with Bruce Wayne after meeting in this version of Thomas and Martha we, we saw we saw your introductions in season one and now you guys find yourselves in the middle of a civil war uh, taking different paths but in the same way similar both very passionate about what you believe in. Uh, can you guys talk about your roles in, in, your, in that civil war? Um, I think Martha uh, really like finds her purpose in fighting with the league against uh, fascism in the form of the Raven Union. Um, I think she feels very liberated in that struggle. And um, yeah, it just like gives her a sense of purpose. She really believes in what she's doing and I think she's just like really excited to be there almost to the point of like maybe there being something kind of inherently selfish about enjoying your place in the midst of a war because it makes you feel good. But that's how she feels. I think uh, Thomas, we meet him after he's obviously been uh, rest and recuperating after the gunshot wound to the chest <laughs> uh, where season one ended. Um, so he's been back in Gotham the whole time and we meet him at Langley CIA base in uh, in a kind of surprise meeting for him, I think, in which he gets promoted to CIA station chief back in London, which is a real surprise promotion to him. I think on the one hand, he's very pleased by that and seduced by the power, but then also that it carries with a great responsibility. And he quickly learns that he's not gonna have any autonomy within those decision-making processes, that he's gonna have to carry out exactly what they want. And so really, he doesn't get to respond or act off his own guiding moral principles at all. He is kind of having to carry out things that really don't align with him very well, but he just has to uh, make do and, and, and press on. And I think because of that becomes more cynical and kind of more hardened um, and a bit detached uh, because they're both, and for their relationship, they're both so heavily involved in what transpires to be once again, the opposite teams um and they forge a path somehow uh through that without letting it well it does disrupt them but you know they they somehow 
stick to their chemistry and their connection through all of that. Ben, Emma, thank you so much for joining me this morning for a few minutes and uh, good luck on the rest of the season. Oh, thanks, thank Emmanuel. You, Emmanuel. Take care.